Time for another stove exchange. Yes, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hi, food friends. I'm Ralph, the voice behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And yes, Ralph, you know what? Time, new year, new stove. Okay, so. Right? So what we're going to do is we're going to take out a 1958 Frigidaire, which we've been using, and we're going to go back in time a little bit, and we're going to replace it with a 1948 Calvinator. Calvinator, okay. okay. Right. So, let's take a look at our 58 Frigidaire Deluxe. So we've been using this for a few months. I have to tell you, overall, a great, great stove. Great workhorse. Yep. And this was not the top of the line model uh, for the Frigidaire ranges from 58, but uh, so it doesn't have a lot of the extra gadgets and bells and whistles, but it has all the features that anybody could really want, including just being a very good, dependable range. It's got a nice clock here, which still works. You can see the sweep second hand. It's got a timer. Um, it has what they call a cook master, which is an automatic stop and start. So you can program the oven to start or stop at a certain time. Cool. Um, and then you've got your four knobs corresponding with the four burners and your oven control here and broiler switch. You have two six inch burners and two eight inch burners, which is really nice. It's nice to have the two larger burners. You've got an outlet here that you can set to go on and off mm -hmm. at a certain time. Uh, so like you could plug in a coffee maker or whatever. You've got a nice fluorescent light here that kind of throws light down on the work surface. And so many features that, by the way, the modern stoves of today do not have. Um, look inside. Look at that nice big oven, Ralph. Mm -hmm. And this is a good baking oven. And I have to tell you, the, 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 um, the oven selector switch and the temperature inside the oven is within 10 degrees. Okay. So it's pretty accurate. I'm going to actually take out, I have an oven thermometer here, I'm going to take this out because um, we'll use it. And then it's got a, your nice storage drawer here. Here's a badge right here. It says Deluxe, which is the model. And a storage drawer underneath with, with this really nice sort of texture front. Gives, makes it interesting uh, design. So it's been a great range, have enjoyed using it, but since we have a room full of ranges, we are going to put another one in service. Okay? So thank you, 1958 Frigidaire. So what is that? Maybe almost uh, 60 years? 62 years old. And it only was off by maybe 10 degrees sometimes? Yeah. No. I mean, for a 62-year-old stove, um, and we're going to replace it with a 72-year-old stove. Wow. I don't know. I don't know who's getting older. These stoves are made. But anyways, <laughs> um, the stove we're going to replace it with is a 40-inch stove. This is a 30-inch. So um, I'm going to take out this extra piece, which uh, I built in just for the occasion when... Uh, I might want to put one of the 40 inch stoves into service. So we'll get ready to get the Frigidaire out and the Calvinator in. All right. Well, we got it on the, you <laughs> somehow managed to get that big sucker on that uh, on little the, dolly. And now Kevin is- It's all physics. He says, uh, he says I should film him while he carefully moves it back here. I got this clear here? Yes, you're okay. good. 
so keep moving slowly. Once I get it in the kitchen, Ralph, I'll have you put the camera down. And I'm going to need your help in getting this thing back upright. Okay. This is this thing weighs 400 pounds if it weighs an ounce. But we just wanted to well, show our friends a little bit of what's involved in the stove exchange. All right, Ralph. It's in place. It sure it is. The 48 Calvinator. So you moved that little piece out of the way to make it fit. Yep, and it's in there just beautiful. Yeah, boy, it really is a throwback to, what, 72 years ago. Yeah. So, um... Put your head in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not that... I gotta put a... Uh, the, the light bulb's burned out, so we need a... We need a light bulb for the oven, for that oven. And for that oven, okay. there's no bulb in there. There's two ovens, which is nice. Yeah. Um, so, let's see. We're going to... What is that? This. There. Mm. That's our work light. Not super bright, but it's a fluorescent bulb right there. Mm -hmm. Under there. So that's... Cool. Yeah. It's interesting that it's on this side. Well, all the knobs are over here. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, the clock seems to be working because uh, it's got a few extra minutes on it than it had when First uh, plugged, it plugged it in. So let's start down here. These are the four burners and the the master oven, which is on this side. So hi. me oh yeah I'm getting heat now that's good because it's always a crapshoot when you don't know for sure if the I oh is it is I turn light up it, it is I turn the let's see if you can I turn the lights down I don't know it's very hard to see there's a little color in the mm. there let's yeah, try one of the other speeds oh I'm seeing it yeah there can you see it now a little bit. Oh, yeah, there. there it goes. Okay. That's uh, number five. So it's red. So it kind And of as you turn, there's medium. Are you getting that? Let's see. Orange. Orange. Okay. Whoop, hold on. This thing's getting hot. I want to make. don't want to burn <laughs> myself. We'll switch places. Um, three is kind of a, more of an orange, it looks like. Yeah, boy, that Two works. is, it kind of looks blue, and then there's Simmer. So let's let's try these other ones here. They're all, but yeah, Similar. so they have a light up situation here. And um, I'm going to turn them on, and you know what? I'm getting heat off of all of these. These three look like original burners. This one was an, it looks like an obvious replacement to me. Mm -hmm. um, must have, you know, the burner must have gone out and you can tell because it's a different style. These have got sort of the thicker um, elements, but guess what folks? They're all heating up and you can see now we're going to turn their oven on and you see that little red light there, yeah. Ralph? Okay, so that's your oven indicator. And, okay, I, these are, I know, the dust, right? So let's turn them Something's, all off. Something's smoking on that one. But at least they're working. At least they're working. The only thing missing is the knob for the clock. Yeah, and I think I have one somewhere. I'll look in the, I'll look in my supplies oh, here. Boy pretty good shape for so many years and then um, so here's our oven and then there's our second oven is here Ralph and that also has an indicator light okay up here so is that the oven on the left yes that's your left oven and then here's our our timer oh yeah I can hear it hear it grinding away yep and careful those are hot there you go Wow. Can't wait to start wow. baking and cooking. Yes. In it, in a, so it. there it is, folks. Uh, first stove exchange of 2021. 
uh, a stove I've had for a number of years and have never had an opportunity to put it into service. So um, I'm looking forward to it. I've had one other Kelvinator stove uh, before and it was a good performer. Uh, I, there's a there's an ID tag on here, Ralph. Interestingly, it says Nash Calvinator Corporation. So Calvinator was owned by Nash, the car company. The car company, oh. which Nash and Hudson merged in 1954 and formed American Motors. But this was before 1954 because this is a 48. So it's Nash Calvinator, Detroit, Michigan. Oh, it says that on the tag? It says that on the tag. So I do believe this stove was made right here in the Motor City. And I'll tell you what, looking at this, I think uh, it had some of the, the Nash chrome on there, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, some of the design elements, yeah, too. Yeah, really cool. I love that, that the history that the car companies have with major appliances. So out with the old and in with the even older, <laughs> the 1948 Calvinator. Calvinator. So, anyways, we are glad to have this one in the studio kitchen for a while. Uh, we'll see how it performs. Always glad to have you in the kitchen studio with us. Who, me? Yeah, you and oh. the people inside the camera. <laughs> and All uh, the people out there in yes. food land, yes. And uh, all of our food friends. Food anyway, friends, yes. so Thank you for being with us. Thank you. Um, thank you. Subscribe share um, recommend like. if you have friends that might be interested in this channel yeah turn them, them on to it. it and um we're going to look forward to seeing you again real soon here on cavalcade of food be well bye everybody bye